Uh, welcome back, everybody. In this video, I'm going to be inserting an image uh, into Fusion here for my keychain. Again, this can really be done on any project. Um, this is just me showing how uh, it can be done specifically for this project. So um, I already have my 3D shape here. For this case, I'm going to make it uh, on a circle. I haven't made my keyhole or anything. This is way, way before that, just the early stages. So um, in Fusion, I have my 3D shape. Uh, I need to actually now go to Chrome and then find my image. So my image here, I'll be doing this Lego image. Uh, first things first, you need to save this actually to the computer. So if I right click, I can do save image as on the image. And you're looking for three types of files. You're looking for a PNG, JPEG, or um, PDF. Any of those three will work. So you see that here. So this one is a JPEG. That's perfectly fine. Then I can hit save. You'll see it actually download on the browser for Chrome. If I go back to Fusion now, um, I'm not in a sketch or anything. I'm completely out of it. I just finished extruding. Now, if I go to the top right over here next to insert, so I want to go insert and canvas, or also you might have it already uh, bookmarked here on the top. So if I go canvas, insert from my computer, and now I already downloaded it before, but I have the actual Lego here. It's the JPEG, and I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click open. Now, uh, if I click on my actual 3D shape here, my circle, it's going to bring it in for me. So actually pretty nicely, it brought it in upside down. Now, it's a few things you can do to rotate this. You can rotate it using the wheel, or if I bring it back down to zero, you can then flip it using your uh, hourglasses here. So you could do either or if I like it how it is there, or maybe that's wrong, I'll flip it back. I can rotate it down and there we go. Using these arrows, this will move it left and right, up and down. Um, if you want to scale, that is the corner one here, this little kind of fillet on the side. So if I grab that, I can move it bigger, smaller, really whatever I want. Let's say I wanted to move over to the side too. Again, if your image is really isn't something symmetrical, you can bring it off to the edge or, you know, Really do whatever you want with it. Once you're happy, you can just hit OK on the bar here or hit enter on your keyboard. Now I'm actually ready to go into the sketch. So if I go create sketch, I'm going to do it on the circle here. And then now I can just grab my line, my arc tool, circles, really whatever you want to use. So uh, let's grab my arc. So I'm going to zoom in here. Let's say I want to follow this black uh, border. So I'm going to click here. Like here, if I'm using my three-point arc, and let's say I'm happy with that. Next one, happy with that. And then next one, happy with that shirt. Uh, you would go and continue this around the whole shape. Then when you're done, you would hit finish. Again, uh, if this was done on Monday, then the next time you get in the class, how you would actually want to go back and edit it. Down here on your timeline, bottom left corner, if I double click here on the sketch, I'm back into it and I can dimension, I can add my lines, all good to go. You remember, you want to do everything in one sketch. You do not want to do any of them separately, all together. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's how you bring an image into Fusion.